Uh, this is section 2 uh, that carries 50 marks. Uh, it consists of 8 questions and you are supposed to answer 5. So 5 times 10, that gives you 50. But for the benefit of the vision, I'm going to do all of them. So question number 17. A factory packs fruit jam in cylindrical tins of radius 5, 5 cm and height 15 cm. The tins are then packed into a rectangular carton into a rectangular cartons each measuring 6 and 6, 60 centimeter long 30 centimeter wide and 30 centimeter high part a determine the maximum number of tins that can be packed in one carton so to do that let's make a sketch of uh, a carton here uh, so this is a carton our carton here So that's our carton. We are told it is 6 cm, 30 cm uh, width and 30 cm wide. So to determine the number of tins, what it means that uh, since the diameter is 5, then the wrong side you have uh, 6 tins. So you have a number of tins in a carton is equal to, then we say, uh, you have six along that the long side, two two rows, uh, three rows that are because here it is thirty, so it will fit three rows, and uh, you multiply by because the can is 15, 15 centimeter high, uh, this will carry two two uh, two that is two, row one and row two, so you multiply by two, so this is six times three is eighteen. And 18 multiplied by 2, you get that the 16. So that's how you do that. Uh, you go to part B. An empty carton can, an empty carton and an empty tin weighs uh, 560 grams and uh, 300 grams respectively. The jam packed in one carton weighs 990 grams. A pickup which carries a maximum of uh, of 600 kg is used to transport the jam. Determine the maximum number of cartons the pickup can carry. So we need to calculate the weight of the one carton. Uh, so we we say one carton. Uh, we say the carton weighs 560 grams. Uh, then you add the tin is uh, 300 grams when empty then you add to uh, 990 uh, of jam and you multiply since we are talking a, a carton has that the six screens then you say uh, you multiply by that the six so you can use your calculator here uh, you say uh, let's say 300 you multiply by 990 uh, you multiply by not multiply actually let's start let me do it again uh, 300 uh, plus 990 is equals to uh, you multiply by that the 6 you get that and you add uh, 5 6 10 that should give you uh, 47 a uh, thousand grams which in terms of uh, kilogram uh, that is equals to 47 kg you divide by a thousand so because the pickup can carry six uh, 600 kg uh, so you say number of cartons that the the pickup can carry is 600 uh, kg you divide by 47 kg uh, that is uh, the weight of one carton. So if you divide uh, 600, you divide by 47, you'll be able to get 12.76595 uh, and because you don't, uh, so you say 7659 uh, so on, because you don't want to overload the pickup, then you say it is approximately 12 cartons that the, 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 the pickup can carry. 
so that you get uh, four marks you get the marks for calculating the, the weight of the one carton uh, then you'll be able to get the the marks for dividing uh, this uh, that is 600 divided by 47 and saying the number that is you get a decimal number then by declaring the number of cartons because we, we, we ignore the decimal because the pickup cannot carry a half a carton we don't they don't have half cartons that's why i've said it's approximately 12 cartons but see the uh, the factory delivered a pickup full of cartons of jam to a retailer the fact the, the factory sells one carton to a retailer for 2880 the retailer sells uh, each team uh, at 110 calculate the percentage profit uh, made by the retailer so we need to find out uh, how many how, how much the retailer made so there are 12 cartons you multiply by each carton contains that the six tins uh, so and each so 12 times 36 you will get the number of tins each tin was being sold at 110 so you can be able to uh, to get the amount so you say uh, 12 multiplied by 36 multiplied by 110 and that is giving you uh, that is giving me 47,520 uh, that is the amount of money that was made by the retailer uh, with the, the the number of cut, uh, cartons uh, or the, um, the amount of jam that was delivered in the pickup that is uh, 12 cartons uh, the factory sells the carton at uh, 12 uh, that is 2880 so because there are 12 cartons you multiply by 2880 so that you find uh, you find uh, the amount that the retailer had to pay to the factory. So you multiply 12 times 2880, and that should give you uh, 34,560. 34, uh, so that you get, uh, so you can get the difference. Uh, so you say 47, 47. Uh, 520 uh, you minus 34 uh, 560 that should give you uh, 12,000 uh, uh, let's put that correct uh, in properly uh, so you say it is 12,960 so that is a profit and because we are required to find the percentage profit so we say it is uh, 12,960 you divide by 47 uh, 520 and you multiply by 100 and that will give you uh, that is 7.5 percentage that 7.5 so that is a percentage profit made by the retailer and uh, by doing that uh, you should be able to get four marks you are awarded uh, marks for getting the amount uh, the, the amount made by the, retail, the retailer uh, the amount that uh, he paid to the company and uh, getting the value and get uh, you getting the percentage here out of the profit made and the percentage that we had. so in total uh, this question you, if you are able to do it like that then you should be able to to score 10 marks and that's how you are supposed to handle this question uh, so it's a question where you need to reason uh, because actually you can see there are no apart from here you have we have used a formula here to get the percentage uh, the others is just reason depending on the information that you have been given